All right, Melissa asked, uh, can someone help me stop a student from deleting files and recordings? Um, I guess when threats don't work anymore. <laughs> um, I can't figure it out on SharePoint. These students online, they are, uh, it's a no consequences world, right? They, they find a way. Um, so if you're in a education tenant, so you have the education features and teams, when you go to create a team, you have an option to create a class team, which is a special type of team with all sorts of special stuff in there. And one of those is limiting the member role and those we actually don't even call it a member role in the class team. It's a student role. Student role. And they won't be able to do that stuff then. So they shouldn't be able to delete the files, all that sort of stuff, unless you create a collaborative space within there for them in a channel or something like that. Um, the recordings, make sure that you're using channel meetings inside of that class team, because then you, as the, uh, I assume the teacher or instructor, uh, when you set up the meeting, you're the one who clicks record, you own the recording, it goes into the SharePoint associated with that class team, students can't delete it, nothing like that. Now, if you don't want to use class teams, then we get to talk about SharePoint permissions and all sorts of fun stuff. And based on that, you would think that they're actually using the more classic um, environment rather than creating the class team, because I you know, <laughs> the same in terms of when I'm teaching them, use that one, but if you've if they have it and the fact that they can do that actually says to me that they've not used a class team so yeah. therefore as you said you're going to have to go in and start to go a bit more advanced permissions but a team as we know is about everyone having access to to nearly everything based on being an owner or a, or a member now just the recordings piece even if we're not let's say we're not even talking about students if it's a private meeting, meaning you go to your Outlook or your calendar and team, you schedule it or any which way, uh, nobody should be able to delete that recording but you. So I'm guessing you're using a channel meeting that's not part of a class team. So you're supposed to using private meetings or use class team meetings and you should be good. Yeah, I always struggle with something like that to to go into the minutia of well, how do you solve it if you've used it the wrong way? So I've I've created this, I've given access in the wrong area, and is there a way to go and lock that down? You can create a different user type and add those students in and restrict the permissions and the roles of that. But it's like, well, why would you go through all of that effort, all of that work, when? Microsoft has designed a solution specifically for the scenario of student and teacher. Yeah, so if they if they're not sure where to go to do that as part of files, you've got this is ultimately just the front end files is just the front end of SharePoint. So if you go to your ellipsis button, which is your little three dots, go and open in SharePoint and go online and whether you've got to do authentication, but go online and then that's when you can go into some of the advanced permission for the file or the folder. So you've got to go deep dive. You've got to go online to actually change those permissions if you need to, not just the front end. Yeah, I mean, the reality with this is that, you know, somebody's there have already been using it. They're halfway through the semester. You know, they just they need to go and solve it. I get that, you know, but but going forward. Use the tools the right way, the way they were designed. Yeah, yeah. and it saves you a lot of these headaches.